Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to use your own image in Leonardo AI, add your image to AI, and make any image with your face. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. If you are not familiar with Leonardo AI, just a quick overview regarding this, it is a cutting-edge artificial intelligence platform developed by OpenAI. So it leverages powerful machine learning models to manipulate and generate images, making it possible for users to create stunning visual contents. And among its many features that we have in here, one stand out. It is the ability to transform images, add artistic filters, and generate personalized content all with remarkable ease. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to use your own image in Leonardo AI and create a fun personalized image with your face. So for you to be able to get started, the first thing you'll need to do is just to access their website, which is leonardo.ai. So you could search leonardo.ai onto your local browser so that you'll get redirected onto this page. And once you're already onto this page, you need to create an account to use this. So you'll just need to click on to create an account in here and you don't need any credit card so that you could create one. So click onto that, then right after, you'll get redirected onto this page. So you can sign up or log in using your Apple account, Google account, your Microsoft account, or you could just simply type in your email, password, and if you forgot it, you could just simply click onto this button and then click on to sign in. So it is actually available onto iOS device, so you could download this onto the App Store and you could see the privacy policy and terms of service here onto the bottom part. And usually what I try to do onto every website is I try to use my Google account so that I don't have to type in my email or password. I just go directly and choose which account I want to use. And then once you're logged in, you'll get redirected onto Leonardo's dashboard. Here onto the dashboard, you can see the different featured models in here. So these featured models are what you're going to use as a reference onto your content generation. So you could use this as a guide so that your photo would look exactly the same or with the same style onto the different models that we have in here. So there are actually a lot of options that you could use. And here onto the bottom part, you could also see some recent creations done by other users. So you could browse through this so that you could get any ideas and then you could go ahead and try to spark some interest or you could use this as a guide as well or as your reference onto your content creation so you could see also the prompts that was used who is the creator of that you could like this one and so that you could go ahead and copy out the prompt in here just tweak it so that you could make it your own then here onto the left side you should be able to see the different tokens in here so these are actually what you'll use to generate so each generation will correspond a certain token so if you want more in here you could just simply click on to upgrade now if you want to upgrade you could choose the different plans tailored to your needs so you could choose yearly or monthly for that and currently we're using the free plan which is free forever with 150 fast generations per day we also have the princess artisan and maestro and you could just scroll down in here so that you could view the plan details and the different features that it offers so if you want to go ahead and switch to a different plan you could just go ahead and try to subscribe to it and now let's go back to the dashboard so you could see the home in here so this is what we're currently in right now which is it has a featured model and the recent creation the community feed so that you could go ahead and browse through the different creation done by other user your own personal feed so you could see in here your own generations you could also see the followers feed if you followed someone the like feed you could go ahead and utilize the search bar for your gallery you could see all of them the upscale the trending new and the top and then you could also select some image in here and you could view in the prompts that you've used as well so we also have the training and data sets in here so this is actually one of the features that you could try to use to use your own image in leonardo ai so you could go ahead and train a model in here so this is what we've seen earlier the different models so you could create your own as well you'll just create a new data set in here add in a data set name description and then once you're done you could just go ahead and try to add load your image in here so that you could train it and then click on the train model so that you could go ahead and create your own model as a reference so you could try to use this one we also have the fine tuned models in here we've gone ahead this earlier and if you have trained anything it will show here onto your models you could see also here onto the community models the different models that are done by other users now we also have here the user tools ai image generation ai canvas text regeneration we also have now the api access settings back and help and the log out button and what we'll use in here is another feature that will help us to use your own image in leonardo ai and which is 
into the AI image generation. So this one is actually what we'll use as well if we'll just want to generate something. But we're going to use this one in here so that we could go ahead and try to use our own image to generate something. So you could see the prompt in here. So let's just try to delete that. That is from my past generation. You could see the points and model. You could also choose a style in here and add in some elements. You also have this negative prompt. So this negative prompt is actually what you don't want to see onto the image. So you could add in a negative prompt so that Leonardo in here would be able to identify quickly what you want to see onto your photo or as a guide onto what you've written onto the prompt. So you could also choose how many number of images you want to see as per generation. There are other features as well like photo reel, alchemy, prompt magic, public images, image dimensions. So you could choose from different ratios that are in here. You could also customize your own or you could choose here. And then you could also have the guidance scale in here. So this is how strongly your prompt is weighted. So you could go ahead and try to adjust this so that it will go ahead and the generation would really base onto the prompt that you have added. You also have the control need, which will allow you to influence your generation with images that you have added and the tilling, which is ideal for repeating textures or background. So we have here the image to image and the image prompt. So for us to be able to have our photo as a reference onto our own creation, we're going to drag and drop an image in here to use as an input. Now, I actually have a photo in here that I have saved at through the internet. So you could actually add in your own photo if you want to do so, so that you could use it as a reference. Drag and drop it in here into the image to image. And then we're going to use this as a reference onto our content generation. So as you can see, there is a new feature that has popped up, which is the init strength. So this is actually the same with the guidance scale in here. However, for this one, a higher init strength will preserve the original image more. So this will base onto the photo that you have added. So we've gone ahead and have it higher so it will preserve more the photo that we have in here so let's gonna go ahead and type in a prompt to test out what it will give us now i've gone ahead and already added a prompt in here which is a curly haired girl in a fantasy forest your hair entwined with flowers and glowing with a soft otherworldly light so these will use for tokens let's try to generate so that it will give us something and then we'll try to see if we could do something as well onto this generation in here so that we could adjust this as per our liking so just simply click on to generate and then wait for its output in here now as you can see the generation is just a similar onto the photo that i've added so the only difference that we have in here is just it is more like a drawing not just a real one since we have used the dream shaper v7 as our model now we're just gonna leave it as it is and what we'll need to do in here so that it won't really look that really similar in here is this in its strength so we're gonna lower it down since the reason why it looks exactly the same is we have this higher so as what we've mentioned earlier a higher in its strength will preserve the original image more so let's try to move it and let's try to regenerate until we have achieved what we would like to see now as you can see here are the photos that it has given us so it did really made it a curly haired girl in a fantasy forest however we don't see any flowers under her hair just a little bit of flowers in here but not really that visible and it's exactly the same onto what we have in here and as you can see there has been some issues within the glasses in here so we could try to remove completely out the glasses in here and let's try to be more specific with their prompts so i think the 0.32 in its strength is actually good we could have this at 0.3 and then let's try to adjust a prompt in here so that we could have another set of generation so let's try to add in a negative prompt so we're gonna go ahead and add in here eyeglasses so let's completely remove out the eyeglasses in here and let's add in in here butterflies then we're gonna go ahead and try to click on to generate and let's try to see what it will give us now as you can see onto the new generations that we have so since we've moved it 0.3 it actually does not really resemble already the photo that we have in here so there is still some similarities but it does not really look similar to that so i think the 0.32 is really the best one that we have but this one it actually still looks like what we've wanted so we have the flowers already in here we've removed the sunglasses and we've added some butterflies so you'll actually have the option to download it if you like the image and if you don't like the generation you could simply click onto the delete image in here so you could go ahead and try to copy this to clipboard and zoom the image and you could remove the background as well onto your generation so we could try to have this back at 0.32 and do another generation and as you can see here are the photos that it has given us so it is actually similar to the photo that we have in here as a reference and it actually has already the things that we want to see such as the flowers the butterflies onto the photo so if you want to have the photo already added onto your device just simply click on to download onto it and that's just basically it on how to use your own image in leonardo ai and if you think this tutorial was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like 
subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video